So here we go with the B final. On the inside, the USA, then Japan, Great Britain, and Australia. In fact, a change of helmet number, David Allardyce is going for Great Britain. He'll be wearing helmet number one. Nicky Gooch will be in two. Matt Jasper, three. And Matt Rowe, four. Robert Mitchell not going here. 45 laps of the track. And leading up for Britain is Jasper. But it's America leading the way. America first. Now the uh, Brits make their move. Britain first, America second, Japan third, and Australia at the back. Nicky Gooch out front. Nicky Gooch handing over to uh, Matt Rowe. America in second. Japan, though, making their move now, looking for a spot on the inside, not quite able to get it. It's Matt Rowe who leads the way. Oh, but that was a sweet move from Yugo Shinohara. And now it's Japan. <laughs> Japan leading, Britain second, and then a gap developing to the Americans. Eric Flame going for America, and Japan now three metres in front. Nicky Gooch back on the ice. For the USA in third, it's Rusty Smith. He hands over to Thomas O'Hare. Still Japan leading. Australia at the back can't quite get on terms. The Australians lost a little bit of ground on the last change, and again they're getting in trouble. The Americans just getting in front, and they've lost another couple of metres. That's what was happening to the Brits in the semi-final, and it became more and more frustrating as they lost ground. They were getting in more and more trouble. Japan lead. Britain second. Well, it's been the best day of the games for Britain, so even though this is not worth too much, the guys will certainly take it if they can win this. And it won't go down very well with the locals. Nicky Gooch again for Britain. In second place. And he hands over to Matt Rowe. But still it's Japan who lead out with Nayoya Tamura. And Rowe looks on the inside. Little push from the American, but holds up. It's David Allardyce in second place, but Japan beginning to get away here. They're really accelerating as we get towards the halfway spot. Takahiro Cordero for Japan. But a good skate there from Matt Jasper getting back. And he hands over to Nicky Gooch. Now, can Gooch take the lead back here? Certainly looking to. It's Tarao, the speed mode from Japan, but no, Gooch has done it. Great stuff. Rowe accelerates, three metres in front. Japan second. Australia trying to take the States, but unable to. Thomas O'Hare holds them off. This is healthy stuff for Great Britain. We're starting to build up a little bit of a lead now, and uh, Japan trying to fight back. But uh, Great Britain hanging on in there, and uh, the Japanese have reeled in another metre or so, both changing now. Britain with a terrific record in this event. Three times, the last three years, they've won the European title, including, including in Budapest some three weeks ago. So Britain leading, Japan second. Now Japan make their move, and a very good changeover. And a good response, too, from Nicky Gooch. It's Gooch and Terrell, the two fastest men on the track. Terrell winning that little battle. Tamura picks it up for Japan and opens up immediately a two-meter gap. 
Matt Rowe for Britain. And America taking second place. Bad news at the moment. Very good changeover. It's Eric Flame. 88 and 92 long track silver medalist Flame. World all-round champion and a silver medalist in the relay as well in short track. Tremendous record. Japan who lead. America second. Britain third. And it's not looking good at the moment. Australia out of it. What a move. And Terrell counters it. Terrell and Rusty Smith having a real ding-dong battle. And still the lead constantly changing between the first three. America one, Japan two, just 12 laps to go. Britain still not out of it. Well, it's been a good couple of legs from the United States of America, but uh, as we've seen during the uh, three days of competition here in the short track, whenever they've got out in front, they tend to lose their footing. And Britain now falling away. David Allardyce and Matt Rowe being left for pace, and uh, Goose and Jasper couldn't do it on their own. Now it's America first, Japan second, Britain third. But it's between the front two now, with just eight laps to go. Remember, there can be changes whenever they want until the final two laps, and then the last, that skater who picks up with two laps to go has to take it right on in. Japan in front. It's Tamora. Tamora leads from O'Hare. And he's opened up a three-meter gap. It looks like Japan now. Tremendous skating from Tamora. He hands over to Shinohara. But the Americans are still with them. They won't be shaken off. For the America, it's Eric Flame. Britain, 25, 30 metres back. They're not going to get in the first two. Padera takes it up. Still the Americans are with them. Rusty Smith takes it up for America. Tarao for Japan. And Tarao keeps it and extends the lead. Tremendous pace from Tarao. And the Americans struggling to stay on terms. Wonderful result. And they continue their excellent night. It's only the B final, but it was uh, fairly exciting. It certainly was. The crowd getting right behind the Japanese. Every time there was a change, there was a big roar because uh, quite often the Americans would gain a little bit back after a change. The uh, Japanese not as strong, but Torao really was the man of the Japanese team. A magnificent last leg from him. Yes, he broke the Olympic record earlier on. And uh, he who was going to anchor them home, and he did it very well indeed. So, uh, USA second, and Great Britain third. Well, Andy Gable did a good job because he was saying before he went out there to compete in this B final that uh, he's got a very sore arm and right side from that thump that he gave the boards during his race. So, uh, well done to him for keeping it going. And a big cheer for the Japanese team here. Well, what a night they've had. No medals at stake here, but remember earlier on they had gold and bronze in the men's 500 with Nishitani and Uematsu. And here's the boy, Tarao, who was the hero. Nipping up on the inside and never taken. His amazing talent of uh, putting pressure on the skaters from behind, making them feel unnervy, really does put the pressure on. Wonderful camaraderie between the skaters as well. Well, a new Olympic record. Canada set the record on Thursday, 7.05, and that's decimated it, 7.01. Well, the uh, Koreans are to go, and the USA broke the Olympic record as well. So Great Britain, in fact, in third place, were only a second outside the existing Olympic record. So that puts their performance in context. No disgrace there. 
two new Olympic records for Japan and the USA. So if you're a betting man, you'd bet on the world record, which is 7-0. Only a second outside what we've seen in the B final. That could well go in the A final to come, with Korea, of course, red hot favourites. Already they won the women's relay. Surely the men's relay will come along as well. First, though, it's Olympic news. And to take us through that, Gareth Evans. He's making a racket here. We have some juice left, said Marc Gagnon, after the semi-final. And who knows? They might have enough, but they're going to need all the juice they could possibly muster to beat Korea here. China on the inside. Disqualified in the Olympics in Lillehammer. Then Canada, who've never won gold in the relay. Second in 92 at Albertville, fourth in Lillehammer. Italy in lane three. Gold medalists in Lillehammer. And the favourites, gold in Albertville, nothing in Lillehammer, surely gold here for Korea. Korea with uh, Che, the uh, Olympic champion from uh, Lillehammer at 500. And with Kim Dung Song, who won the Olympic 1,000 meter gold medal here two nights ago. But it's Italy who start out in the lead. China second. And, uh, no rush at the moment. Canada third, Korea at the back. Derek Campbell leading at the moment for Canada. Che Ji Hun in second. Brittany rather in the lead. And uh, leading out Diego Catani, who didn't compete in the individual event, but has been brought in here. So Italy in the lead. China second, Canada third. And Korea content at the moment just to take a watching brief on this. We're speaking to Natalie Lambert uh, before the uh, event started this evening and she said it's going to be a really, really tight race because the uh, standards of all the teams are very, very similar. But uh, she reckoned that uh, after about 10 laps or so, the Koreans may take a break for it and uh, try and get away. Let's see what happens. Well, at the moment, it's Canada leading. Derek Campbell in first place. Italy second with Maurizio Canino. Koreans to third. And at the moment, it's the Chinese at the back. Eric Badar, bronze medalist earlier on in the week in the thousand, leads out at the moment. Koreans beginning to have a look here. Italy in second place. It's Kim Dong Sung, the thousand meters champion. In the third for Korea, China at the back. Still no one really gone for it. Gagnon it is, leading from the front. Fabio Carter, the European champion. Hands over to uh, Carnino. Still Korea third and China fourth. Koreans having a good look there. Che Ji Hun, and here they come, pushing for second. Wasn't to be, the door closed on them well and truly. Eric Badar it was who did it in second, but still the Italians out in front. Well, the Koreans, although in third place, look very, very relaxed. They seem to be doing uh, two or three strides less than everybody else on each lap, and uh, just really letting the skates run. And that will be very important in the latter stages of the race. Fabio Carter leads out for Italy. Gagnon second. And for Korea, it's Li Junhuan. China are out of this. And it's a very hot pace. The Chinese aren't going to get back unless there's fun and games up front. It's 
Still no change. Now there is. Here go the Canadians. Eric Bedard is who makes the break, but the others have gone with him. Well, that really was a great change. They uh, pulled up a couple of metres there. Still Canada in front. Francois Drolet holds off Antonioli. Now the Koreans looking, and the Koreans snatching second place there. Fabio Carter overtaken, doing very well to try and get back, but has he held? No, he hasn't. In fact, the Italians are out. Carter takes a stumble, trying to get back on Lee Jun Wan, and has a protest. That could well be the medal gone. And China are back in this. They've seized their chance. Canada now desperate. They're 30, 40 metres back. The Italians, rather, the Canadians lead. China's second career back in third. Well, it's really a hot pace out in front. And uh, Canada, again, just starting to open up a little bit of a gap. They look controlled. China taking a change there. And Korea taking advantage of that into second place. But it's not a, for long. That was Kim Dong Sung, but uh, quickly overtaken. And uh, I thought the Chinese were out of this, but uh, Li Jiajun has pushed them back in it. Canada doing all they can, but you can see nearly half a lap back now. Here the Canadians go. Derek Campbell opens up a five-metre lead. On a slip. And the Chinese very nearly overtook. And he's out, and he's taken the Koreans. And Canada may be on their way to gold. Absolute mayhem. And there are people lying on the ice. There's an injury. I think Carter's been injured, the Italian. No, it's Carnino who's been injured. But Italy in front. And didn't it work well for them? Canada in front, rather. Canada in front with Gagnon. And there's only seven laps to go. They're not going to get caught. Canada are going to take the goal. The Koreans are flying behind to try and make it up. But this is a massive upset. And they're not going to get there. Six laps to go. Well, I tell you what, the Koreans are gaining. You know, the, all that energy that they uh, conserved at the beginning is paying dividends now. They're reeling in the Canadians, but uh, time is running out. Beda leads out. Che Ji Hun second. 15 metres. Still the Koreans are trying, but they're not going to get on terms. They can't possibly make that gap unless there's a mistake up front. Canada are going to win this. Korea second, China third. Mark Gagnon it is, who takes up the final tag. 10 metres in front. Li Jun Huan flying after him, but he's not going to get there. And here's goal for Gagnon and Canada. Silver for Korea, bronze for China. And bitter disappointment for Italy, who are complaining. What a moment for the Canadian team. Eric Bedard, Derek Campbell, Francois Drolet, and Marc Gagnon. Well, wasn't that exciting? Well, you have to feel for the Italians. There's one of the guys on his knees in the middle of the rink. A nasty, nasty fall. And uh, what about the Koreans? Without the fall, they'd have won it for sure. They were the quickest out there. Absolutely, no doubt. But on the day, Canada stayed on their feet right to the bitter end. And it's the gold medal for them. Very, very well done. Great effort. Well, they've got uh, gold medals here in the men's relay. They also got gold with Annie Perrault in the women's 500. So aren't they pleased? Dreadful disappointment for them earlier in the day with the uh, hockey boys unable to get a medal. But look at this. Totally unexpected. Well, for the rest of us, they, they'd, have, they'd have thought they've had a chance. You have to. 
Oh yeah, they come in here. They, they, they were there for the gold, there's no doubt about that. It's such a demanding race, I was going to say, that uh, the elation and the emotion just getting to the guys. Fantastic result. And there are so many Canadians here and so many people supporting Canada. Look at those scenes. Just wonderful. Well, they have a strong history in this sport. But they've never been able to make it happen in the Olympic relay. Now, let's have a look here. This is where the fun and games happen. Fabio Carter looks like he just missed it. Yeah. Just missed his footing. Desperate disappointment. So at this point, it was down to the three of them. The Italians are out. And there's desperate luck for the Koreans. The Chinese missing his footing. Oh, that really was shocking luck for the Koreans. Lee Ho Young it was who was brought down. The Chinese boy missing his footing is Huan Ye. And look at that. He did all he could to go on the outside, and that's exactly where he met up with Juan. Gagnon was away and clear, and he wasn't going to hang around. And there's the moment where he brought them home. Yeah, no one's going to steal his thunder. Brilliant stuff. A real team effort. So confirmation. The Canadians have won. Uh, Gagnon absolutely thrilled did very well to get to the final of the men's 500 but in the end beaten by the uh, sheer pace and the Koreans cannot believe it they were desperately unlucky yeah you have to feel for them because there was literally nowhere for them to go it's a sport, though, where you have to take your luck. And sometimes it will be chronically bad, as it was for the Koreans tonight. But let's face it, they have done amazingly well. They are, without doubt, the number ones in the world. They, they won the women's relay. They won with Kim Dong-seong the gold in the men's 1,000. And they also won the women's 1,000 today with Chun Lee Kyung. But it wasn't to be. It's been an interesting night, hasn't it? Because things haven't gone according to form. No, they haven't. So not a particularly quick time. Some uh, five seconds down on the B final. But Canada win, Korea second, and China third. Well, it's been some night. Still, the emotion goes on. And Short Track's done itself proud here, apart from uh, one quite bizarre incident a couple of nights ago when the uh, B finalist won the bronze medal, Chun Lee Kyung. But uh, no doubt today that uh, she was a worthy winner of the 1,000. Terrific for Canada really was a fantastic result at the end of the day one of the most exciting uh, events you could ever wish to see if you ever get the chance to go and see this live it's worth a visit disappointment for the uh, Brits here but uh, if you don't know the news I won't uh, tell you too much about the uh, four-man Bob except that it was uh, very exciting indeed and you can watch that with Johnny Woodall. But now from Chris Howarth and myself, Simon Reid, goodbye for now. The programme is brought to you on Eurosport by Baileys. Ladies and gentlemen, the first event tonight will be the men's 1,000 metres. There will be a total of eight heats. And please note that the two first skaters in each heat Paul.
left channel. 